Hey guys, my name is Bess. I am the owner and creator of Life with Bess, a mud and hand embroidery business based in Brisbane, Australia. Today I'm going to talk you through how to assemble your embroidery stand. It is a desk and lap stand that was created by myself and also Rob and Holly Bush from The Bush Collective. An important thing to note when you're unpackaging your stand is that all of the packaging as much as possible is made from either recycled items or that can be recycled. Everything you need to assemble your stand is in the box that will be sent to you. There is a little explanation of what's in this package as well as a diagram of how to put it together. It is pretty straightforward, but if you're like me, I love the visuals, so let's get to it. On this card, you'll find that there is like a list of everything that you need, so it's good to check that you've got everything before you start. So first up, this is the hardware pack. It actually has all of the bits and pieces that you need to assemble your stand all in there together. You should have three 30 mil bolts, one 40 mil bolt, three nylon washers here, and then there's seven brass washers, five wing nuts, two 50 millimeter bolts, and an Allen key. You've got your half moons that are wrapped and already been matched for you. You'll have one long timber piece, two matching pieces, and then also a handle and a magnet piece. Last but not least, you will have your timber base as well. What you're gonna do to start with is grab the 40 mil bolt and pop it into the inlay on the base of your embroidery stand. And then you are gonna take your long piece and there's an insert nut in the bottom. You're just gonna screw that onto that 40 mil bolt. The thing you want the position of it to be so that the cutout is to the side, not towards you or away from you. So I just kind of position it where I want it to be and just use the Allen key to tighten it. So that's not moving there now. It's nice and secure. You can take the tag off the bottom. So that's the first step. We've got our base and we've just attached that first piece, the number one piece through. Now the next step is you're gonna attach these two matching pieces to create the arm of your stand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a 30 mil bolt and you're gonna pop it through one of the holes and then you're gonna take a nylon washer and put it in between so that helps prevent it from moving. And then you're going to put it through this one here. Then we grab a brass washer, pop that through and then a wing nut to finish with. So it's this neat little hardware sandwich that you're going to do. And we're gonna repeat that three times for these three hinge joints. If you're right-handed, you can have it so that the the tightening point is on your right side. If you're left-handed, you can put it on the left side. It's just swapping which way your bolts will go through. So same thing here. Gonna put 30 mil bolt through the nylon washer, then the other timber piece, making that sandwich, brass washer, and then the wing nut. And there's your two points there. Then the last one, we do exactly the same, but because I want all my points to be on the same side, to, yeah, um, put it through your moving piece first. Screw that on there. So that's the frame of your stand assembled. Super, super easy. When you're using the stand, these are the joints that you'll use to get it to the right height and position for when you're sewing. Then we're gonna take our half moons, take them out of their wrap. We have quality checked these, make sure that they will fit together for your piece. If you have any issues or anything, just let us know, just send us an email and we will get back to you with tips and tricks. The best way that I find to put the bolts into these half moons is that you hold the half moons together and slide the bolts through together like that. Now you've still got four brass washers there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two on the top of here just to help protect the paint. And those last two wing nuts are going to just secure onto there. And that's what's gonna grip our hoop. And then what I recommend that you do with the two last brass washers is that you pop one on the top there, feed it through that magnet piece and put another one there just to make sure that it does grip nice and tight. You can fiddle around and experiment with to find the best combination of where you put the um, brass washers that work for you. Um, 
and your stand because each stand is handmade and hand sanded so there is some slight differences between each of them so that is our embroidery stand and so you can just loosen that a little bit and be able to swivel that around completely and you can adjust these to whatever height you need and it's got a magnet inlay in the top. When it comes time to actually pop your hoop into the stand, you're just going to loosen these bolts, the wing nuts at the front here, lift it out so we have a gap there. I find it works best if you have this screw point in between those two bolts, push it into that as far as it will go and then you're just gonna pinch it with your fingers and I like to push this bolt up at the back and you tighten those Bolts. If you struggle with grip strength or you have any hand strength issues or you're just finding it really hard to get it tight enough to the point, you can just pop that Allen key into that side of the bolt there and use that to help tighten. So it's good to keep uh, hold of this, particularly if you're going to um, disassemble it or you're going to get a different base and half moon because we have a range of different colours that if you wanted to swap out the different colours then it is helpful to be able to undo the screw. Now if you're having any trouble with your stand and you're finding that it's not holding up your hoop and it tends to be slipping down, there's a couple of reasons why that might be happening. Check that you've got your nylon washer and your brass washers in the right order because that really helps give extra grip to the hinge joints that you use to arrange it to the right height for when you're sewing. The other thing to note as well is what position you have these hinge joints in. I notice that a lot of people, they have a tendency to put their stand in this kind of position where it's angled up, but it doesn't take much force at all for it to slide down. I often equate it to if you're holding a bag of groceries, it's a lot harder to hold it out in front of you. It takes a lot of strength and it's a lot more force on your shoulder joint. But if you have it bent down like this, you're a lot stronger. So I always recommend that you put this joint down as far as it will go and then have this one coming back up and you can experiment with finding the right position and tightening it so that with pressure it won't move. If you're wanting to use it as a lap stand and actually put it under your leg when you're on the couch, the best position I recommend for that is to adjust this all the way up over this side and then change your angles back that way. I find that works best to hold your hoop in position. You can even bring this up a little bit more and adjust obviously whatever's comfortable for you. So that's the position that I find for a lap stand that works best for me. So that is how to assemble your Life with Bess embroidery stand. If you have any questions, you can always just put a comment in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and do all that jazz. This colour is the Alberta Rose, but we have lots of colours on our website and a lot more colours coming in the future as well.